गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ए जी गार्डनर बायोग्राफी सो लेट इज बिगिन एल्फ्रेड जॉर्ज गार्डनर हु वॉज बॉर्न ऑन जून सेकेंड एटीन सिक्सटी फाइव एंड लेफ्ट दिस वर्ल्ड टू हिज हेवनली अवॉर्ड ऑन मार्च थर्ड नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स ही वॉज एन इंग्लिश जर्नलिस्ट editor and author his essays which were written under the alias alpha of the plow are highly regarded gardner was born in chelmsford he was a son of henry james gardner who was a cabinet maker and an alcoholic and his wife susanna taylor As a boy, he worked at the Chelmsford Chronicle and the Bournemouth Directory. He joined the Northern Daily Telegraph in eighteen eighty seven, which had been founded the year before by Thomas Purvis Rizma. Means, Daily Northern Daily Telegraph was founded in eighteen sixty or eighteen eighty six. In eighteen ninety nine, he was appointed editor of the Blackburn Weekly Telegraph. From nineteen fifteen, he continued to star under the pseudonym Alpha of the Plow. At the time, the star that was a chronicle had several anonymous essayists whose pseudonyms were the names of stars. he was invited to choose the name of a star as a pseudonym for himself then ag gardner chose the name of the brightest alpha star in the constellation that was named the plow his essays are uniformly elegant graceful and humorous ag gardner's uniqueness lay in lay in his ability to teach the basic truths of life in an essay easy and amusing manner ag gardner's collections pillars of society pebbles on the shore many furrows and leaves in the wind are some of his best known writings a reviewer of the pebbles of the shore said Gardner wrote with fluency, deftness, lightness, grace, and usually a very real sparkle. The end of the essay, the vanity of old age, is typically neat. In this essay, A. G. Gardner says, "For nature is a cunning nurse; she gives us lollipops all the way, and when the lollipops of hope and the." lollipop of achievement are done she gently inserts in our toothless gums the lollipop of remembrance and with that pleasant vanity we are soothed to sleep means we meet our ultimate destination the creations by ag gardner are prophets priests and kings that appeared in 1908 pillars of society 1913 The War Lords, nineteen fifteen, Pebbles on the Shore, which he wrote under his pseudonym Alpha of the Plow, nineteen sixteen, Windfalls, it was written in nineteen twenty under the pseudonym Alpha of the Plow, Leaves in the Wind, it was also written under the pseudonym Alpha of the Plow in nineteen twenty, The Anglo-American Future, nineteen twenty, What I Saw in Germany, Letters from Germany. and austria 1920 life of george cadbury 1923 the life of sir william harcourt two volumes 1923 many furrows it was written under the pseudonym of alpha of the plow in 1924 john ben and the progressive movement 1925 portraits and portents 1926 certain people of importance it was written under the pseudonym of alpha of the plow in 1929 so friends that is all about ag gardner's biography and his works 
so that uh, all for today we will meet in the next lecture till then thank you